Yo, I'm trying to make a prank call. Let me holler back. Okay, later. All right, let me give you a, a little preface on uh, on this one. So this prank call, and I could make so many of these, had a fucking scumbag a couple years ago who I was doing some marketing work for him, helping him out with his website. Then tasks started rolling over into a little bit of management stuff, whatever, but it was short term and it was, you know, I was taking just a little bit of money to come in there every, uh, every couple of days. Well, did a lot of work for him, noticed how poorly run the whole operation was, uh, started thinking that, you know, maybe he could use somebody like me. He had a, he had a general manager there who was a, a real train wreck. And, uh, but apparently, uh, he's kind of an old scumbaggy dude who messed with these younger women, man. It was weird. So anyway, I'm still coming in like every two, three days doing some stuff with him, uh, helping him out, listening to his ideas, trying to make, you know, his ideas come true. So he goes to pay me my little check one week, check bounces. And at the time I didn't have much money at all. So I deposit that account thinking that money's going to be in there. I have some bills that hit. Boom, overdraft. What? You get the alert for the overdraft, and it is because he bounced a check. So when I go over to see him to tell him that, yo, we bounced a check, and it caused me to have an overdraft, uh, he seemed like he tried to make me out to be like I'm some type of, you know, poor piece of poop for needing him to write me a good check and needing him to give me the thirty-seven fifty back for the overdraft really rubbed me the wrong way, so screw him. But here's the good part. So the good part is I created a form for applicants to fill out on the, to fill out on the website online uh, for them to submit some basic details and I make those um, pre-applicant forms tricky in a way to where to kind of filter out the dum-dums. Those forms would go to me I would look over them, make sure they, they were smart enough to answer the questions correctly and that they didn't have a problem with the drug test and things like that. And uh, then I would filter them and then say, hey, you know, hey, dude, these are the ones that could be some bartenders, some help, you know, whatever. Well, for years, I still get those emails, but never did anything to them. But this dude's a real scumbag and piece of shit. So I decided uh, to start calling these people back. So here's the first one. Hi, I'm uh, calling in regards to a application that was recently submitted for a bartender position. Is Miss Brittany available? Uh, this is she. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, how are you? You live in um, Saint Bernard Parish. I do. Yes. Okay. I just recently moved here. Okay. And I see you have open availability, and uh, you have some experience. What's your? Uh, you have experience as a bartender somewhere? Yeah. Um, I've had uh, about two years now. Okay. I started in the French Quarter, and okay. then uh, I've worked in the CBD, too. Okay, good deal, good deal. Let's see here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And you have immediate availability? Uh, yes, actually. Okay. Um, let's see here. Now, we usually like to have our, our bartenders, uh, you know, basically all the staff to be a little chesty. What, what's that cup size? What's, what's the titties looking like? Uh, it's 34 of the E. Nice, nice. Good deal. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Brittany, uh, keep your phone by you. Let me talk to the boss man real quick and uh, see if I can get him to give you a call, okay? Okay, cool. Right. Thanks so much. Thanks. Bye.